Okay guys, so I'm just gonna jump straight into the video. I'm going to be creating this look on my other eye. But everything is basically already done. Like my lids are set, eyebrows are done just to shorten the video because I know my last video was like 30 minutes long. And nobody wants to watch 30 minutes worth of makeup. But I'm going in with this palette from Morphe 25A and the shade I'm gonna be starting off with is this dark shade right here. And I'm looking in the mirror right now, so that's why. For some reason, it's coming out like really patchy. That was the same problem I was having with this eye, but I still made it work, so I'm just gonna keep going, working the color into my lid. And I'm gonna use a second color that's a little lighter just to help blend the two colors together and make it look smoother. The next color I'm doing is this one right here. It's like a burnt orange. And I'm just gonna bring that color over the brown, like around the edges. Yes. It is so hot and this hair is like sticking to my neck. Woo! Damn. So you see like um around the edges is like a soft brown, it goes into the darker brown. It doesn't look so harsh or patchy anymore and um next i'm gonna go with the same brush that i went in from before and go over any problems i see and then the next step is cutting my crease so i'm gonna be using this cool tan from la girl pro conceal because this is not the shade that I normally use for my actual under eye, but it's lighter, so it takes the um, eye shadow, like it makes it look more intense. So it should look like this when you're done and um i'm gonna go in with another brush just so that it's not so i can like pat all the excess excess concealer so that it's not wet and i can put on the the uh i can put in the eyeshadow so you um go back in with the same brush that you did the crease color with with no more extra product, blend the same brown, dark brown color. And 
and soften out the edges so that you can't actually tell where you cut the crease. You're gonna do that on both sides because this is gonna be a spotlight halo. This is my first time doing a spotlight halo, so I really don't know what I'm doing. This is just like, I seen a picture and this is how, like this is my technique or I don't know how many other people do it like this, but that's just what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go back and with this brush and the light brown that I used um, under my brow bone, the same burnt orange. Then go in a little closer to the spot, like the highlighted area. And of course, being that I took most of the cut crease away, I'm going to go back in. No extra product and overline. Like, make a spot for the actual highlight to be. Spotlight, excuse me. same brush that um I forgot what I use this for oh to take away all the extra product in a second and I'm gonna go on my makeup forever palette um I don't think this even has a name and I'm gonna be using this shade which also doesn't have a name it's just like numbers but yeah, I'm just gonna highlight the area where the concealer is and go a little over the brown so that it looks blended and not so harsh. I like using smaller brushes for this because it gets as close as you like need to be to the line without like over like I don't know how to explain it without what is that word that I can't remember without going on top of the brown and messing it up so that's it for the eyeshadow and again using the same brush I'm gonna go under my my waterline go with the same dark brown and then back to makeup forever same shade for my inner corner and I'm gonna take a, a gel liner and an angled brush and why am I forgetting all these words and line my under eye. And now for my lashes, I don't remember the name of the lashes that I'm using because these are so old and these are two different lashes like double stacked just because they were both like not natural and I needed like a um, bold eyeshadow for this look i mean bold lashes i always do like lashes that are bold i guess you can say it's so hot like Bend myself, blowing on lash, and this light, this ring light in front of me makes it like 31 degrees. I mean,
next thing is like the complexion part of this which is going to be my foundation concealer all that stuff and i have really oily skin so i'm going to go in with Sasha Buttercup, no primer. I moisturized, moisturized my face already, but I'm not gonna use any primer. So I'm gonna be using my foundation from Makeup Forever Ultra HD in this shade. It's a long number, but yeah. Anyway. For concealer, I use Fawn LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I feel like I look good. is damp make sure your beauty blender is always 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 damp and clean Then I'm gonna go back and on um the places that I highlighted. What the hell is going on? Places that I highlighted, I'm gonna go back and using the same brush that I use for my foundation just to blend around the edges. And there's no harsh lines. And I don't know what I just did, but it was like a black something black right here, something black on my forehead. I'm not gonna let it sit for too long. I'm not gonna let it sit at all. for my highlights 
I'm either going to use Fenty, the Fenty Beauty or my Violet Rose Pro highlighter. And for concealer, I'm going to be using a mix of the cream concealer, I mean, cream contour by Anastasia Beverly Hills and the powder contour also by her. What I do for my contour is without like pressing out any powder, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal tool just to like soften up the cream and plus the wand so this is in the shade espresso and, I, and i'm gonna be using the darker shade in this palette but basically like i'm just like scraping i guess you can say and then Never ever contour. This is my like first time contour. But hopefully this works. I'm trying all new things today. So you're gonna blend the jawline downward. You're gonna do this upward. some reason like I didn't even bring it down here but every time I do contour whether it's concealer I mean cream or powder it always like drags down here I don't know why and I try so hard to like keep it from doing that I don't know what it is and then you're gonna do the forehead into the hairline Brush. Like, I don't know what's going on, but every time I do something with it, it just turns black. Or I don't know if it's like the foundation is rolling off, but yeah, that's that. And I decided that I'm gonna use for my highlight the Violet Voss palette, and I'm gonna be using a brush. I forgot what this brush is from, but I'm gonna be using a mixture of the middle the middle shade and the last shade. I'm gonna be using for my lips. I don't know why I said that so loud. But yeah, for my lips, I'm, for my lips, I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this Kiss lip liner in the shade dark brown and Elf and Mo and Mocha Twist. Yes.
this is the complete look. It's probably so much. Okay. 